Hello, everybody. Let me introduce you to my co-host. Hello. How are you? I, I want to tell you guys, I love you so much that I hung up with my mom in order to talk to you. <laughs> How is everyone doing? Um, or if the Good morning, Donnie. Good to see you. How's it going, everybody? I don't know about you, but I need to go shower. <laughs> there is no arm raising today. <laughs> hey, Cindy, I'm glad you're lurking. Can you guys hear me okay? It's so weird to be uh, talking without verbal feedback after this morning, starting off with people. <clears throat> well, I'm glad you're getting some breakfast in there, Donnie. It's the most important meal of the day. <laughs> no cuddling with Crashly. Sorry, Crashly. Hey, Rajul. Hey, Miss Lizard. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Brian. Tia's in the house. Don't take me out back, Tia. Hey, Trevor. Hey, Robin. Hey, Mistria. <laughs> Valerie. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, I'm opening a soda. Crashly, we can cuddle if it's six feet apart. <laughs> hey, Brittany. Hey, Nita. Good to see you. I know. I know. Confetti heaven, right? This is a Diamond Art Club Chuck Henson. It is called The Sweetest Life. It is around. And I'm doing it for my grandmother. And if you guys don't get dizzy, it's like a covered bridge. I'll show you a little bit of what I've done. So that's the part I've done. And I just have this little three piece strip left. See if I can tilt you up a little bit more so you can see where I'm working. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Crashly. Well, Cindy, you're gonna love it. I love the colors. I was a little curious how it was gonna turn out, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And I hope to be able to give it to her. Her birthday is the end of May. Okay. So we will see. But she is in Ohio. So I don't know when I'll get to see her next. Love you too. Bye. Oh, go buy your new releases, Donnie. Do that. Oh, Jill's going to... Be done in about an hour with her Chuck Penson. Okay, Tia was looking at both of her Chucks, trying to figure out. So, Cindy, my mom was telling me some Walmart um, stories and it was blowing my mind she's like everybody who's not obeying the law is at Walmart right now and I'm like oh I'm so sorry stay safe 
So after this, I will be transferring you guys from the computer to my phone so I can watch the mini-a-thon from my phone. And I'm going to be making some potato soup in my Instapot. And I'm going to be trying to teach Crashly how to do it. Yes, Brian, get that custom done. Hello? Ms. Gia says she has to learn to edit fast. Oh, Diamond Art Addiction! Thank you so much. You are such a blessing. Ms. Gia says that she has to learn to edit fast because her boss wants her to show him my math lesson video, but I need to edit some things out. I wish I could help you, Mistria. It would help if we knew what program you were working with. So, for anybody new, down um, <clears throat> Diamond Art Addiction, just put the, hit the little, uh, I don't know what it's called anymore. What is it called? Super, I don't know. It's the little dollar sign at the bottom. It's just to like, Send your love and help support the channel. Um, Hello? <clears throat> I don't know. You're not a terrible learner, Crashly. Trust me, I laid down for a minute, and while I was laying down, I was thinking, literally going through step by step, what I was going to say in my video to Crashly on how to make this simple potato soup recipe. Oh, so I can't wait for her feedback to see if I helped her succeed. And she's been making eggs successfully, so my egg cracking video to her must be helping. <clears throat> All right, be right back, Cindy. I'll see you in a minute. Tia says she's going to get that one. She's ordered four paintings from them, but thinks that one renders up best. Not as much pixelation. Leave my soup alone. You're the freaking egg queen now. <laughs> Thank you for explaining that diamond art addiction. Yes, just a mini-a-thon for... Some of us to encourage one another and be crazy together during this social distance time. So, it's been real. It's been fun. Although, um, I, I think our dog finally went to the bathroom because she is not stressing out about going outside. So, I think she finally did her business in the rain. I don't blame her. It would be hard for me to do my business in the rain. She's gotten bored out of her mind. She but she's super crazy. Uh, er, earlier today. Yeah, she doesn't know why we're home. Earlier today, she was randomly scared. So, I'm trying to think. <clears throat> Does anyone else have pets that are going crazy? Like, what in the world is going on? Because our dog, I can't tell if she loves that we're home. Or hates that we're home. Now my daughter has made up this whole story about our dog and her naps. It is hysterical. I, I wonder if they <clears> let <throat> you mow if you wore like one of those, like, like, suits. Hello y'all. <laughs> so my daughter has said that when our dog takes a nap, that she is giving to her charity, her charity for doggies who cannot take naps. And so every time she takes a nap, she is giving to the charity. And so right now the charity is a little low on donations because the dog can't sleep all day anymore now that we're home. Oh, thank you, Donnie. Bless you. Yeah, you guys, a, a reminder that we do, I'll, I'll do the reminder in just a minute. Um, so, yeah, so our dog's charity has low, uh, <laughs> low, um, what do you call it? Oh, I, I thought you might. Sorry, my daughter's in the background, I'm going crazy. 
Um, so she's, her charity is low on funds. <laughs> so poor doggies need to take their own naps. <laughs> oh my goodness. Zoe, leave it. So Donnie, thank you so much. Just to remind you guys, um, I try to be the host for Diamond Painter of the Month. So down below in the description, if it's not there now, I'll add it in a few minutes, Will is a link. And you guys can definitely um, nominate anybody who loves to diamond paint and give a reason why. And then I do a drawing every month. And um, Andrea is our diamond painter of the month for March. So if you see her around or... Um, it doesn't have to be a creator. It can be, you know, some people nominate their children who love to diamond paint with them. Or um, I had one person nominate their grandmother who likes to diamond paint with them. Anybody who loves to diamond paint can be nominated. If you want to nominate more than one person, then just fill out a second form so that they each get an entry. And I try to keep the list up to date of who has won because if they've already won, then they cannot be nominated again. And so that's at the bottom of the form, so you know. And yeah, so they don't have to be on YouTube or anything like that. So Andrea was our winner, and she won a Diamond Art Club. I believe it was called Light and Dark. It was the, the wolves, the light and dark wolves. So that got in the mail to her. And so, yeah, she, if she's on YouTube, wish her congratulations because she's our March winner. So the week of April 1st is when I'll pull the drawing for the April winner. And it is run by you guys. So I'm not paying for these things. Um, sometimes I do because the shipping's low. And so that's what Donnie was donating. So it'll help me be able to purchase the gift or to ship it out to the person. Um, so yes, thank you so much, Donnie. We love you. Appreciate that. <clears throat> All right. So how's everybody doing? Yeah, we're light and dark meat. Thanks, Cindy. I appreciate that. Yes. Congratulations, Andrea. I bet it's stunning. It was hard for me. Um, I had a dear sweet friend donate several diamond paintings and that was one of them. So I'm still trying to decide on what the gift for April should be. And I stick within a certain budget unless it's donated to me. And so I, I don't know. I don't know what the next one will be. I might give the person a choice. I'm thinking maybe this is winner's choice month where I will say, here's a diamond painting. Here's, you know, do you want a diamond painting? Do you want a beautiful polymer clay pen? Do you want this? Do you want that? And then let the person choose. What do you guys think of that? Should April be winner's choice? I think that's where I'm going. Thanks for letting me verbally process this out. <laughs> First super chat was for you. Oh, thank you. Diamond Art Addiction is rocking it. I feel so bad, Sherry, that you're in Canada and we can't come see you. So I'm so glad that you come into our chats and that you're doing videos. We just appreciate you and what you give to the community. And don't forget, we have so many people that are connected in the community and have great video content super excited to be able to support one another um so yeah so thank you so so much okay so tia you cannot nominate yourself but you can have someone else nominate you <laughs> you can bribe somebody if you want you'd be like hey dude i i want to win here you need to nominate me right now i'll do it I'll make you some cookies. Yeah, our Chicago trip 
Oh, okay. Donnie, you can do that. I'll get with you behind the scenes. So April is going to be the two con from is that that's the new one from Diamond Art Club, right? And I'll I'll be able to send you some shipping help with that. Cause you know I got this little Diamond Painter of the Month thing. So yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Brian loves cookies. Okay. So Brian's willing to make us cookies if we all nominate him, okay? <laughs> oh, Brian, you're funny. You are funny. So, it's been interesting. My dog decided to get in our bed, not this past Wednesday, but the Wednesday before. And we ended up... Um, Ginger's like, I don't want the nomination. I want the cookies. <laughs> oh my goodness. So our dog got into bed a week and a half ago and I guess I contorted my body and when I woke up, I could not move. My back decided it was going to be out and of course it decided it wanted to be out when the whole state is on shutdown mode, right? So I was joking with my friends that I'm like, I don't need toilet paper because um, I can't turn <laughs> to handle my business. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crazy. So I did go to the chiropractor on Monday and then I went again on Tuesday. Um, I wanted to go on Friday because it is still wicked bad, but um, they're only open till noon and I had too many appointments. At work. I mean, you can get the so, um, <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. I'm, I'm slow mo right now. Slow mo. So, anybody steals my cookies, I'm just gonna be watching them eat them because I can't defend myself. I'm defenseless. Yay, Brian's going to teach us how to make sugar cookies. Woohoo! No. <laughs> fluid so I can turn. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I did see a meme that said, um, now that we've taught everybody how to wash their hands, next is turn signal. <laughs> how to use turn signals. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. What did we do in life before we had memes? Oh, go charge. Go charge, Diamond Art Addiction. Go. Quick, quick, quick. We want, we want you live, so go charge. So. Crafting after. <laughs> Retreat pickup. Crashly wants to be the judge. Oh my goodness. I hear ya, I hear ya. My daughter's been baking up a storm. I swear I'm gonna have the, instead of the freshman 15, it's gonna be the COVID 15. Right? <laughs> Does anybody feel that way? I used to think I was getting my exercise at work because our bathroom is literally a hundred yards away. And so I would have to like speed walk between clients to get to the bathroom, use the bathroom and get back in this like five minute period. And so I'm like, Hey, I'm getting my exercise every day doing this. Well, now my bathroom is three feet away from where I'm working. And I'm like, oh, dang, now I'm not getting my exercise. What's this? Do they hear retreat bake off? <laughs> well, drive on over, Ashley. Drive on over. She uh, made two days ago, I think, she made vanilla cupcakes from scratch with a 
Nutella icing. And then a couple days before that, she made homemade brownies from scratch. It's like none of this box stuff for her. She just finds something on Pinterest and says, can I bake? And I'm like, sure, as long as you clean up. And then in an hour, we have this fresh baked goods. Yeah. They're delicious. Kara's here. Okay. Hand washing now. Shapes and colors next week. <laughs> right, Kara? Yep. All right, come on over. Straight and a sharp right and a sharp left, yep. and you'll end up somewhere, I guess. Okay, now okay. I need the sugar cookies that I yep. can't say. I was trying to wait Bye. for Sunday. <laughs> oh, she just said she's making Starbucks copycat copycat lemon loaf. If oh dear. Yeah, that's why I said get a lemon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was thinking ahead. Oh my gosh, guys. Ah. That's what eleven 12 year olds do when they're bored. <laughs> That's a first. Oh. See ya, bring your mama. She can battle out. <laughs> yes. Um, where are we going next? Karen, you're already leaving me? Goodness. How old is this skunk Gilligan? She is 12. Uh, Karsh, this is not me. I gotta earn your win, so then Cookie better off the chain. Oh, I'm turning 13 this year, by the way. Uh, Tia's like, I'm not happy. I've been asking at least every other month to work from home. They won't hear this request from me again when we reach her. <laughs> Miss Tria, do you think I could trick my kids into thinking they ate the cookies in their sleep? <laughs> Crap. Crafty Heifer says, Crashly equals Gordon Gramsci. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Type in art addiction. Oh my god, you guys are killing me with these funny lives. My ribs are... You know what? Your ribs are going to be in tip-top shape, Sherry. How how many calories do we uh, burn from laughing? I think we're going to be... We're going to be fine. The more we laugh, the more uh, lemon, lemon loaf I can eat. Oh my gosh, lemon is my weakness. I love those lemon cookies from Girl Scouts. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I thought I bought enough Girl Scout cookies and now I'm like thinking maybe I should have bought more. If I knew we were going to be uh, quarantined. Uh, she said, I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, that's why sometimes there's uh, craziness going on. Um, I don't know. No room for one. I, I'm working on C's right now. And I have to keep reminding myself, C, 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 C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. <laughs> All roads lead back to cookie. Valerie says they're taking huge precautions and major rule restriction for labor and delivery. Yeah, call your OB and maybe the hospital for more rule changes. All right, Donnie, go to work. Get us those pens and those cover binders. Do, 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 do. Not the TP, Crashly. It's an endangered species. Diamond Art Addiction. It's like she's in college again. She's doing this like four day. I'm not going to sleep it. We're going to be squirreling this afternoon, aren't we? Diamond Art Addiction. That's all right. We'll be there. Prop those eyes open with toothpicks. It won't hurt. It'll only hurt a minute. It's kind of like SpongeBob SquarePants when he can't sleep, right? The Thin Mints from the freezer are my jam. 
Well, we have a secret, odd but nice. Right up the street, we have a small business market, and they're keeping themselves stocked. Also, two weeks ago, we went to Costco, which is like a big warehouse store, and we bought like this 10-pound thing of sugar, and we didn't get any flour, but we had already gotten flour. So, um, yeah, we're just kind of keeping our stocked and busy. So, how fun was the opening this morning, the match game? That was crazy fun. Rebecca did such a great job putting that together, kicking us off. I was scared I wasn't going to be able to stay awake, and then there we are, laughing hysterically together. So, I do want to remind everybody that if they are not part of um, Crashly Creative Mayhem in my group, you okay? we have a group called Creative Craft. Craft is with a K. So, Creative Craft Addictions. And I plan tomorrow, Sunday, going Facebook Live so you guys see my at home face. And talking about this new up-and-coming endeavor that we're going to do over the next couple of weeks. And I'd love to see you guys there. I don't know what time I'm going to do it, but you can always watch it on the replay. Um, but yeah, go on over Facebook to Creative Craft Addictions and join us. It is an all-craft, not just diamond painting. So we'd love to see your work in progress we love to hear your tip and tricks we'd love to see crazy memes it's just an amazing place for all of us to come together and don't forget to answer the questions <laughs> to join to join so we'd love we'd love to see you there and tomorrow i will be making our live facebook announcement And we also have a giveaway when we hit 200 people. Ashley is going to make us a beautiful polymer clay pen. And that will be the giveaway for our 200 mark. Super exciting. Thank you, Odd, so much for putting that in. Oh my gosh, Odd's mom almost went crazy because she ran out of eggs. Did she find some though, Odd? Is everything good or do we need to buy our chicken I feel like we all should be Mindy's best friend right now with her ducks and her chickens get ourselves some eggs well that rooster scares me he's like protecting his women <clears throat> So it's been very interesting at work. I've been working from home now officially a week. I stole my office chair and brought it home. It's your chair. It is my chair. I did take it in, but I felt really weird. My husband came Monday after work with the van and drove up, and here I am rolling out this office chair. Like, let's take it home. <laughs> so... But I have a nice office chair, so that's all good. And oh, my nail just ripped. Don't you hate that? So let's see here. Ooh, we got some people. All right, you answered the questions. You are approved. My 
my cookie plan. They made color cookies. Now my team. <laughs> Go get rid of the evidence. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> it's like those people who eat the whole cake and then like, crap, I just meant to eat a piece. Now I got to make a whole nother cake. Eat half of it so nobody knows I ate the first cake. <laughs> I have not done that. I've been close to it, but I have not. Ugh. <sighs> So yeah, I stole the chair. It'll go back to the office for sure. But so I can sit and not have to contort myself or sit in a dining room chair for a long time. Because, I mean, sitting in the dining room chair for like a Thanksgiving meal or in it for a couple hours, you know, around with family is one thing. But sitting in it for eight hours is another thing. Well, Holly, that's fine. Go down and click, hey, Nan, go down and click um, the nomination or I'll just put the link in and fill it out. Hey, creative, welcome. So glad you're here. Do, do, do. Creative decided to show up for the party. Potty potty. <sighs> I'm getting hungry, people. Hungry. I guess it is almost 3 o'clock, so. And I didn't quite get breakfast. Crashly did a good thing. She ate breakfast while we were live, so that's great. I should have done that. I'm not a huge breakfast person though, but I also didn't eat lunch on time. I haven't eaten lunch yet, so it's probably why I'm hungry. So if you hear any grumbling, it's probably my stomach saying, I'm hungry, feed me. And these drills are not very appetizing looking. They're brown, so I don't think I'll be eating them for a snack. Creative just cooked up a storm. Ah. <laughs> Shh, Cindy, you're not supposed to tell anybody. <laughs> I was. That's what you get for being an in for me knowing you. Shh. It's our little secret. Nobody can hear us, right? So I was starting to shoot a ceiling video last night after my live. And then I, and I was like, oh, I have to wait for this to dry. I totally forgot that part because I was thinking, all right, I'll seal it. I'll then do a video of how I frame it. Da, 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 da. And then when I got done with sealing it, I'm like, oh, I have to wait a couple hours and it's already midnight. <laughs> think dark chocolate. Oh, don't think dark chocolate. Oh my goodness. I love dark chocolate. Feed me more, see more. <laughs> Oh, goodness, goodness. All right. There's more seas down here. I was so excited. I was like, I'm all done with this area. And then there's a whole bunch down here. So we're going to be moving. Ooh, move. All right. So my goal is to get this finished tonight. We'll see. I'm very ambitious. Power tool handed to mayhem. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so what are you guys doing this weekend? I know we're all like jumping in and out of these lives. But what are your plans? Are you going to take the dog for a walk? Are you going to bake? Are you going to cook? 
Try not to drive your family crazy. What are your plans? I hope to get a bunch of videos done because I have been so behind on videos. And I hope to clean and organize my craft area because it looks like a bomb blew up in it. If I wasn't so embarrassed, I'd show you. Crafting, lots of crafting. Tia's gonna do her feet. I don't know what that means, Tia. How do you do your feet? Hey, D Baker. D Baker's in the house. Woo, my day's now complete, D. So good to see you. I still get tickled when I see people using my washi tape. I know, Ginger. Actually, fun fact, this is the first time I've used your washi tape method. And I was thinking about you when I did it because I'm like, oh, I got to be cool like Ginger. <laughs> Kara is cleaning out her bathroom drawers and cabinets. I'm a beauty product junkie. Kara, before you do that, take a picture of it. Tomorrow you'll find out why. Trust me. Make your life so much easier. You know, kind of quote unquote like a before picture. Just a little hint what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So, um, play with the birds. All right. Ginger, I'm going to try to explain your method, and if I get it wrong, you can step in or you can try to explain it, okay? So, Ginger came up with this method. I'm going to scoot you back. Take these off. I slide them off usually because that way the magnet stays on them. Just a little tip that I do. All right. So, what Ginger likes to do, and this is my first time doing it, and I'm enjoying it, is she takes washi tape on top of the cover and divides it into like quad quadrants stand for four but i'm going to use it quadrants um so i did this into nine sections i did two down like a tic-tac-toe board but you can divide it up however you want then you pick one and bend back and do it and when you're done with that section you can use scissors or you can use a sharp tool like um, an exacto knife and you slice whichever side of the washi tape you choose to work up to. You slice that, take it away because you've got your finished product. Then you bend back the next section and you just work section by section. And, you know, there's the theory is it helps you stay organized. It also helps you get it done a little more quickly. Um, so, yeah, Cindy, did I explain it? You can put the link of the video if you want, Cindy. Put Ginger and Cindy, did I explain it okay? I want to do your technique justice. You guys all have amazing techniques. I love how our brains work and think. Oh, that's a good idea. Dee slices her washi tape in the middle prior to working on this section. Nan is coloring. Nan, we talked about, I don't know if you like Mandy Manzano, but she, um, if you go to our group, she has um, 15 or 20 free coloring pages that you can print off if you want to color some Mandy. Oh, good job, Diamond Art Addiction. Got everything all set up. Yeah, so I just picked the washi tape. I mean, I like all my washi tape, but I picked the one that I don't think I'll ever use for borders um, so that I'm not like, oh, I don't want to use this. Evidence is gone. <laughs> Good job, Mr. 
That's awesome. No more colored icing on the teeth. We won't tell, we promise. Crazy. And then my daughter went and made herself lunch, so now my stomach's like really upset. You haven't fed me. Don't forget your over stomach. Yeah, so Cindy just put in a link if you want to go watch um, Ginger's technique. Um, Cindy and Ginger are sisters, and Mindy is not here, but she's also a sister as well of the three. And they have a great video to show of the technique. Yeah, hush, hush. Oh, Holly is doing uh, stuffed peppers from DAC. Yes, Ginger, you can get washi tape. Pretty cheap from AliExpress. My dog is snoring in the background. Sometimes I want to take a video recording of her and send it to Lizzie with Lizzie's World of Gems because she's always talking about her dog snoring and be like, I think all dogs snore at some point. Ah, oh, I missed some three tens. They're just staring at me like, ah, ha, 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 we escaped. We escaped. So I need to ask Rebecca to make me a little, uh, hat for my guy. She's doing some loom knitting right now. Crashly, did you ever... Uh... Oh, no! <laughs> you guys just killed yourself. Don't jump off the bridge like that. <laughs> Seriously, people. Seriously. If you need some help, please just let me know. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys are crazy. Trying to jump off my craft desk. I see how it is. <laughs> I broke creative mayhem. Did I crack your noggin? I'm so sorry. But then all the king's horses and all the king's men will come and rescue you and you'll be fine again. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, it's interesting. Um, I think it's Disney is releasing some of their movies that were supposed to be in the theaters for longer that you can rent. So that's interesting. If you aren't able, you can get yourself some microwave popcorn. <laughs> Just wanted to get off down in the campus. <laughs> oh, oh, Paula, I'm so sorry it left a mark. Ginger's got whiplash. Just call my insurance company. <laughs> Nan, my clients are doing okay. I don't think it's going to hit until um, after April 1st, like what's going on. Um, most of my clients are factory workers, and so half of them were told to stay home, and the other half are going into work. Um, they have been used to something similar with being in a refugee camp, of kind of being quarantined to a certain area, but I think it's going to start to really kick in after a week or two. Um because they are not able to use the bus system, um, the kids aren't in school. I know we're filling out unemployment like crazy for them. Um, they like certain foods and some of those foods aren't as prevalent. And so once they're gone, they're gone. And so just trying to figure that out, helping them understand um, what saving up materials, you know, like when you get toilet paper, get a couple, things like that. Um, so right now, I don't think it's quite hit them, but we're there for them. So I'm still keeping my appointments. I'm still 
talking with them technology wise it's really difficult because I can't do the video conference for most of them they don't understand how to download an app and how to use it and they can't because they don't speak English they don't know what's being said of when to hit the pound button and when to like what an ID is what a password is all of that kind of stuff so we're, we're getting through it I'm just exhausted at the end of every day more than normal just trying to be emotionally present and available also being there for the interpreters many of them have gone the refugees themselves so they've gone through you know their own trauma so just kind of trying to make sure they're doing okay but we're getting there I've got a great team we're all supportive we're checking in with each other so <laughs> Ginger's traumatized she needs a therapist I am a trauma therapist for refugees so I specifically survivors of torture so um, I work with people from Rwanda, the Congo, um, different Middle East countries, Bhutan, Nepal, Guatemala, um, I'm trying to think of some of the others that I work with, um, the Burmese, the Rohingyans, so I always have a joke with Ginger whenever she's live. I'm like, I need an interpreter. What language are you speaking today? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Nan. A lot of them are working in the food industry and in that we have a pharmaceutical factory here too that they're working in. Um, some of them are auto parts. And the ones that are auto parts are the ones that are being um, sent home. So, but our program is specialized where, so every client has a specialized trauma case manager and then myself who's the therapist. And so we're just touching point with them, making sure they're okay. Um, if anything, I'm telling them, guys, you're making it through. You're becoming self-sufficient extremely fast because they can't rely on us being able to go get them things or take them to the doctor. Like they're gonna have, they have to work this out, and we're helping them work it out. Um, and they're doing it, and so I'm able to step in and encourage them and say, look, you guys are doing it. You're doing amazing. Look at what you can do when you. Put your mind to it and trust yourself. And I just want to tell that to you guys. Like so many times we tell ourselves we can't do something or it's beyond our limit. And we need to just take a deep breath and reach out to our support systems. Um, whether it's emotional support, physical support, and you know, then dig in. Because we are resilient and we can do it too. We've got this. We're going to make it through. Ginger's traumatized by the Texas heat. Come on over. You'll be called a secondary migrant. I can help you then. <laughs> yeah, Valerie, and we talk through that a lot. You're right. Yeah, Nan, I'm, it's crazy trying to use that video technology. She shed did this too. Her hope runs deep. Good job. Oh, thank you, Emily. Yeah, Dee and I go back and forth sometimes. I love being there for you guys. Sometimes it might take me a moment, you know, but I, I'm available if you need me. Feel free to email dpaddictionadventures at gmail. And, you know, I can be a listening ear. Um, but just give me grace because I also have a family and a therapist as a job. So I, I definitely will be there for you, but more as a, 
a friend and a confidant. If you do need therapy, please seek it out. And one of my number one rules I tell people is if you don't like your therapist, find a new one. Like don't let that one particular therapist be the reason why you don't seek help. Because we all have different personalities and our personalities don't get along with some people. And so we need to just be honest and be like, okay, this is not working for me, but I still need the support. And so I'm going to find somebody else and I'm going to love myself and do this for me. Right? A therapist is not for them. A therapist is for you. And if they're a good therapist, they will not feel like there's some clients that I refer because we're just, we don't click and it's not their fault. It's not my fault. It's just how we think and our personalities. Trevor, yeah, we do. Oh, D Baker. It's, it's hard. It's hard because we get attached and there are support system. But yeah, therapists have their own therapist. It's true. And it's not like you're, oh, I'm a therapist therapist. It's not like a particular job <laughs> that's out there. It's just like we know if we need the help, then we go and we seek the help. And um, if you are a good therapist, you seek your own self-care and you make sure that you are renewed so that you can be there for your clients. And that renewal looks different for everybody. And sometimes that renewal is going and having therapy yourself. <laughs> Ginger's my therapist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, when Ginger stopped doing her morning lives, I... I uh, Ginger, you left me hanging, girl. You left me hanging. I understood, but still, I had to go figure out what to do then. And I had nobody to translate for me. I don't know why, but this pen tip just does not want to hold any wax. My four placer is great, but the single placer, no matter what wax I'm using, no matter how good the wax, it just is not holding. I think it's pushing up in there. If you guys can see, let me see if I can see the wax. It's, um, it's right there. So it keeps pushing itself up. Well, diamond art, you know, if if that's what's in your heart, definitely pursue. I give you props for thinking. All right, so now is when the confetti starts to get to me because I'm like, okay, there's a C here, there's a C there, there a C. Cindy, you're there too. But see, even after she did her lives, or stopped her lives, you still did videos. So I came, I supported, I felt renewed. I laughed, I cried. I was waiting for your next hairdo. Okay. Wax slippers. <laughs> Looks like you have a wider hole at the... Okay, odd. I ain't touching that with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> Don't be talking about my wide hole. Oh, I found some more 310s. Crazy. All right, so... Throw up your DMC color you're currently working on if you're working on a diamond painting. Let's see if we have any matches. <laughs> exactly, Valerie. <laughs> I am doing let's see here. 3371. Maybe. There you go. 
We got three tens, 33, 26, 939, 310, 779, 3805, 3863. Oh, we got oh, all these rainbows. Oh, Laura and Rita. You guys are doing the 154s together. <laughs> Shalene doesn't have DMC numbers. That's okay. We still love you and we still love your diamond painting, right? So what is your must have thing when you sit down to diamond paint that you need? Like chapstick, a drink, a snack, your tablet going, like what is your must have thing that you need when you sit down and are like, okay, now I can diamond paint. I have my, my chapstick right here. And I have my drink. I don't know. Trevor says YouTube is a must have. Large mm -hmm. glass of ice. Oh. Light pad, chai tea, drink, coffee, coffee, drink, tablet, or phone, and a drink. Mm -hmm. I sniff my patty wax to be honest. <laughs> that reminds me. That reminds me of the Saturday Night Live when I get really nervous. <laughs> I have my chapstick and I have my uh, cherry coke today. Mm. My dog. Drill pens, canvas, drill pens, and a pen. Sure Coffee. Sleeping. I see a theme here, right, creative? <laughs> oh, yeah, so my phone, TV, coffee. Patchouli? Patchouli. Patchouli? Daughter is whispering to me. <laughs> well, guys, on that note, it is almost time for our next person. If one of the moderators could put in the link for who's next, I'd appreciate it. But thank you so much for spending some time with me and loving each other. And I'm super excited to meet you guys in the next next chat. Um, don't forget to give a thumbs up on your way out. And if you liked this and want more videos, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much. Love you all. Bye-bye.